welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. I am Ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular girl. Ooh, I'm just not noticing. Well I knew I didn't have no nails on but girl. Ew. <laughs> I can't stand walking around with nubs. Like I cannot stand it. It makes me feel like a little, like a little badass kid who be like stealing snacks and hiding them and stuff. Like I, <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I hate not having nails on. I literally just took my nails off. That's what's so funny. I was at the point where I needed like a new full set because like my nails was lifting and I've been having those same acrylics on for girl months or whatever so i was like let me let me take them off myself so i don't have to pay y'all to remove them because i'm going to get a new set tomorrow but in the meantime in between time i got these little these little crumb snatchers and it's so annoying so anyway what's up with y'all how y'all doing <laughs> your girl now that i got my ac back on i don't know how to act girl you will never like you will never I know we appreciate AC, you know, us women especially, girl, we, we run hot, most of us, with the exception of some of you girls who are always cold. I've never been that girl. I've always been the girl who is, I mean, I'm fluffier, obviously. <laughs> I'm fluffier, and I was even fluffier, so I've definitely never been a girl who enjoyed being hot. I know some girls, you know, are always cold. I've never been that girl who is, like, always cold. I'm not, it's not an anemic bone in my body. <laughs> girl you will never understand and appreciate you will never understand the appreciation for ac until you get that shit back girl like or until you lose it and then you get it back it's like a whole new luxury like i feel like i'm i'm in <laughs> it's a whole luxury and what's so funny is now that my ac is back running pumping girl i got a whole new unit so it's working better than it was even before it stopped working now it want to be like breezy outside and it want to kind of cool off in the city but knowing this city it's it's gonna get hot again girl so but i'm like really every day i'm waking up at 73 degrees i go outside the wind got the nerve to be blowing where was that at two weeks ago when your girl was up in here and it was as you can see i have ac ptsd i'm still I'm still dealing with the with the emotions of having no AC. Like it, anyway, y'all probably tired of hearing about that shit. But girl, I'm just saying, your girl is brand new. Her AC is pumping, and I feel like I'm I'm living the luxurious life, which is hilarious. But anyway, um, oh, I wanted to talk to y'all about the sales. This week has been like a sale every damn day. Of course, there was Amazon Prime Day. Of earlier this week so that was two days and then of course target got to come through with their deals to compete which they had some amazing deals i'm actually i actually picked up two things y'all i when i say i did not want to buy new airpods like my airpods have been on the fritz since for probably the past year or two <laughs> and i just was in denial uh, and i didn't want to buy new airpods like my airpods was the first ones that ever came out i've been having them for so long so Amazon had them for $89 this week and then Target had them for $89 this week too. So I had to go ahead and pick up a new pair from Target. Even though that was like half the price I paid when I initially got them in whatever year that was, I still didn't want to pay for new AirPods because them things, girl, I just, I just be feeling away. Like <laughs> Apple, I just feel like if something breaks and typically, you know, if it's within warranty time frame, you can go ahead and get it replaced. But when it's beyond that i just it's like pulling every tooth out of my mouth to give them some money so i don't know if y'all feel the same way but i did not want to buy new airpods but at some point you got to start being uh more courteous to people in the gym because i literally be in the gym y'all now mind you i go early enough in the morning where it really don't be nobody in there but sometimes on the weekend i might go like a couple of hours later than i typically do and it's some it might be a person or two in there and guess what I'm watching YouTube on the speaker, on my phone speaker. Like I'm that girl. It's it's a it's a I'm a ratchet hot mess in the gym, <laughs> and I'll be here and I'll be having the volume turned all the way up, and I'll be watching my vlogs and watching y'all and watching whatever I'm watching on YouTube. 
<laughs> so now that I have my AirPods back, I'm going to I'm going to now become a you know actual courteous courteous citizen and not be a ratchet ass mess in the gym listening to YouTube. Like, don't nobody want to hear uh, Bill and Lisa in Vegas eating food while they're on the elliptical other than you? Like, so anyway, now that I have my AirPods back, I'm going to also gain my manners back as well. <laughs> but uh, so did y'all buy anything from these sales? Of course, we have the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which so far I have not purchased anything. I did see a motorcycle jacket on there that I think I might pick up because it's black and it has gold zippers. I want to say Roya talked about, no, it wasn't Roya. It was, I am Chelsea Jackson. That girl be coming out with the, she be, she be the plug on some shit. So I might have to pick up that motorcycle jacket because I love gold jewelry and I, it's very rare that you can find like a leather moto jacket or a faux leather moto jacket in this instance with gold hardware so i might pick that up because it's a pretty good price but other than that and i'm, I'm gonna check to see if they have some purity by philosophy like the face cleanser um on so i haven't checked that for the beauty um deals for nordstrom but again your girl is just not impressed like i'm just not I'm not, I'm not feeling it. So I'm hoping I can pick up some purity. I typically try to wait until like the Black or the Cyber Monday sale um, because Philosophy has like the best deals on purity, but I need it right now and I done ran out and I missed the <laughs> Cyber Monday sale last year. So your girl needs to, I need to figure it out. And you know, I ain't paying full price for nothing, honey. Um, so yeah, so did you guys pick up anything from Prime Day, from the Target sales, from the Nordstrom sale? If so, comment down below. If there's something that y'all feel like I just need to have and I'm just looking over it, comment down below. Shout out to y'all um, for watching. If you watch my fragrance haul video, I just posted it um, Thursday, this past Thursday, which is today actually. Um, but of course, you guys are um, watching this beyond that. Um, so shout out to y'all for all of your kind comments about my fragrance haul. You guys most of them um, perfumes that i purchased were suggestions from y'all so thank you y'all were right about everything with the exception of that machino gold which smells like um blanche Devereaux's great grandmother uh that was her that was probably her signature fragrance um yeah definitely not for me i still need to figure out what i want to do with that because girl it's, it's gonna be a no um however let me stop rambling I don't know why my intros be so long these days, but I'd be missing y'all and I'd be having a lot to say. Um, so anyway, <laughs> if you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, or hey boy, hey, if you are new, please don't forget to like the video. And most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe so that you and I can do this, you know, what we do often. And with all that being said, girl, let's go ahead and get into the actual vlog. <laughs> So you guys, you know, I always got to put y'all up on game about how to shop at Publix because oftentimes, you know, first of all, we're in inflation desert right now. Um, so saving as much money as possible is is encouraged as well as imperative, in my opinion. Um, however, everybody always says Publix is high and they are high in reality. However, you got to know how to shop at Publix. So I just want to give y'all a quick little tutorial. Um always buy the bogo if you buy bogo which they have new bogo sales that starts every wednesday and they end the following tuesday so if you buy a one bogo item you get it for half off so for example these sweet potato pickle fries the regular price of these fries were four dollars and 59 cents because they were bogo i got one bag for two dollars and 30 cents for these pizza rolls, I don't even really eat pizza rolls like that, but there's something to have when you want to snack every now and then. Um, these pizza rolls were normally blah 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 five dollars and forty three cents. I got them for half off, which is two seventy two. Plus, I had a seventy five uh, cent coupon that's on the app, digital coupon. You just type your phone number in. So I paid a dollar ninety seven for this family size bag of pizza rolls. Third, I have this Swanton Low Sodium Chicken Broth, which typically is $2.76. BOGO price was $1.38 for Swanton Chicken Broth. And then lastly, these are natural Purdue chicken strips. The regular price on these were $4.99. With the BOGO, they were $2.50. So 
I saved a total of $9.65 and my total for all four items was $8.52. Like just these two alone would have been, it basically I purchased, bought, bought these and then those are free. So yeah, I encourage everybody to shop the sales at Publix and use your digital coupons and buy BOGO stuff because you'll save some money, girl. You know, we need it. We can save that. We can save that money and allocate it over to um, some makeup <laughs> or some fashion or bills, girl. Bills. How about that? So you guys, these are the items I picked up from the Target Bill Day. So of course, I told y'all that I picked up these AirPods at 9 so you can't beat that. And then I picked up a new air fryer. I have been wanting to try this air fryer. This company is, um, I think they said it's a black owned. I need to verify that. <laughs> but it's a black owned company. And this air fryer typically um, retail for $99, but they had it on sale for $39.99 or for, no, it was $49.99. And then I had a 15% off coupon on Target. Plus I had like something in my Target wallet, like less than a dollar. But anyway, after tax and all that, I ended up paying like $36.59. Shit, girl, shit. You know your girl cannot turn down a discount or a bargain. This is a six quart, which is a little bit bigger than my current air fryer. This is my current air fryer. Shit. So, I shouldn't be here, but I just bought the phone with my bestie. Shout out to her. What up, Camille? She don't watch YouTube for real. <laughs> but she was just talking about how she was about to go to TJ Maxx. So I said, girl, I want to go to TJ Maxx too. <laughs> so I'm out here, y'all, for no reason. Like, strictly on the vibe. Lord knows I don't need no pots or pans, but this is so cute. I'm about to drop this stuff. So nice. Of course, I have the skillet. For the girls that like gold. Not bad. Ooh, so heavy. It's so heavy. You know, they always have the cute ass plant stands in here y'all that one is cute but you know your girl has not been having the best luck with plants lately honey so and, you know. mm, super cute Ugg towels nine dollars for those these are cute and the bath towels Y'all, so I didn't know that the boy Steve Madden had a pair of um, wannabe crystal Orans. They actually look kind of good. I ain't gonna lie, I think I might be able to. <laughs> Girl, I didn't know, I did not get the memo. Ooh, they feel horrible. Y'all, so this is all I picked up from TJ Maxx. I just got two things. Oh, let me also tell y'all, look what bag I've been carrying. <laughs> this is crazy, girl. Like, you know, this is the original. The original. Never fool. I had packed this for, um, to go somewhere, um, like a couple, like a week or so ago. Y'all, why well, I've been carrying this bag ever since. I said, don't ever get rid of the classics, girl. Don't ever get rid of the classics. <laughs> but anyway... Like, I'm like, you might call her basic. I haven't carried this bag and I don't even know how long. I mean, ever since we were wearing fur pom-poms, but girl, look at her. This bag is from 20, 2007, honey. She looks great. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. I had to get this lotion. Well, first of all, they had this sports bra. It was like a nice little, looks like it was good support, champion sports bra. Um, it was cute, so we'll go with that. Um, with a little cute little back, $7.99, you can't beat that. And then, I just had to get this lotion because it just sounded like it smelled good. And I think it did because I did smell it, but it was like a collagen lotion. So this is some body butter, van uh, coconut vanilla. Yeah, I had to pick that up. 
this big ass bottle for $5.99. So I wasn't about to leave that in the store. So that's all I got from TV Max. I was gonna pick up some candles, but it was like a gang of girls over in the candle area. So I couldn't really get my life like I wanted to. But yeah, the the, the moral of the story is don't 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 sell you never fool girl. Cause honey, she might come in handy one day. <laughs> Hey you guys, I'm just checking in. I'm about to head out. It's Saturday, so I'm gonna go uh, run a few errands. I need to take these shoes back to Nordstrom. Uh, they're just a smudge too big. They're the um, Nikes that I showed y'all probably a vlog or two ago. I hope they have them in the smaller size. I need a size nine. This is a nine and a half, and um, hopefully they do, but if not, it's gonna be a return. And trust me, I don't want to return these shoes because they are so damn cute, girl. Like, I don't want to return these shoes, but hopefully, like I said, they'll have a size nine. Uh, I let me show y'all what I'm wearing today. It's of course extremely casual because y'all know that's how we do. But I am wearing my one of my favorite T-shirts. Y'all know I love a graphic tee. I love a graphic tee. Who doesn't love a graphic tee? Uh, this is my Way Into Exhale t-shirt. I got it from Etsy. Shout out to Jap. He had it on. That's my homeboy. But uh, he had it on one day and I just had to have it. So I have on that. I cut it off the shoulder just to smudge. Uh, Y'all can't really see because I have... Oh, my bag. I have my bag. Oh, I'm just wearing as far as bottoms. Black fur between my leggings. If y'all can see, which you probably can, I have on my brown or bronze sandals, which I always wear, or gold as they call them. Um, so I have my orange, which matches pretty cute with the Fendi. Um, and then I have on this large, oversized, vintage Fendi travel bag. Love this bag. It's huge. And I'm gonna put that shoe box in there, so that's why I needed to um, have a large bag today, girl. So anyway, um, oh, let me also let y'all know about the fragrance trio that I have on today that's like giving me everything that I need, that it needs to give. Um, so I'm going for, you know, like I said, all the girls want to be Baccarat, right? So I have on the So Janeiro Beige Floor Body Cream. That's one. I spray my body down with the body mist slash hair mist or uh, body spray slash hair, uh, hair mist love it that's the beige floor as well again everybody wants to be the girl baccarat and then top it off girl with the burberry hair i love this this right here if you watch my fragrance haul you already know my first impression was a1 from the sample and then when i got it in the mail but this right here girl i love it so those three are kind of my scent of the day but that trio right there girl if you're looking for a fragrance trio, <laughs> that is the one. This body cream with the body mist, and then you top it off with the Burberry Her. It's giving everything that it needs to give. And then you can also, you know, maybe once it gets a little bit more fall, winter, I would say insert, replace the Burberry Her with the actual Baccarat with the same trio. Don't talk to me. Like, if, you, if I'm smelling that good, like, don't even talk to me. If you see me in the street, girl, just, just give me... <laughs> Just give me a nod, girl, because I'm smelling too freaking good. But anyway, I digress. Let's ride. We need to hurry up and get out here because, girl, you know, traffic is about to be on 4,000. You know what makes you never want to leave the house in Atlanta, Georgia? <laughs> this damn traffic, girl. That's what. <laughs> this shit is ridiculous. Like, all I'm doing is going from downtown to Buckhead. And it's literally taking me, like, 30 minutes to go like four miles maybe six <sighs> the never-ending rant of everybody who lives in the metro chat girl we swear we like a little baby rodeo over here <laughs> so, of course this thing is on swallow because it's like noon so i had to park all the way at the back but um your girl trying to be in and out Hopefully, I can get that accomplished. <laughs> Everybody in this place. It's like a real party up in here today, y'all. <laughs> they 
are grooving, okay? Like, grooving. Here are the barefoot dreams cardigans. I see why y'all go crazy for these because this material is so freaking. This looks so luxe. I could totally wear this. 118, y'all can keep that. I'm leaving with something, y'all. It wasn't my intention. I've been wanting an essentials t shirt. Sleep, so. I don't know that people are still wearing BBC like that. Like, it's cute. So I just came to the Atlanta station, somehow I popped into I have coupons, that's the only reason why I'm here actually. I could use a new candle too. So of course they already have fall candles. Definitely look forward to doing that one day with a cute little rooftop. Gotta come in here and get me some butter cake to go, y'all. I got a coupon, so you already know. So I gotta show you guys what I just picked up. It was that leather jacket that I talked about, I think, um, earlier in the vlog or maybe in last week's vlog. So when I got when I went to the store, my intention was to only return those Nikes, which I did. I did want to reorder them in a smaller size, but they wasn't going to give them to me for that sale price of fifty dollars. So that was such a good price. Oh my god! So I'm a little bit um, bitter about that. <laughs> However, something told me go upstairs see if they got that leather jacket that you were looking at online. So they did have it. However. It does not have the gold zippers like the one that was online so i met this really cute and really cool sales associate so she helped me out so i kind of felt like i had to buy something um so i did pick up the jacket but well the size the size was good it was it's a little, oops let me pull it out it's a blank nyc jacket so this is the jacket and I was nervous because it's not plus size, it's in straight size. So I was nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to fit it. So like I was saying, because it was in straight sizing, I didn't know um, if I was gonna be able to fit the largest size, which was an extra large. Um, it's supposed to, and I am a 14, so it's supposed to, it said it was a size 14, but again, as a girl who has pretty much exclusively shopped plus size clothing, um, my entire adulthood i was nervous but i can fit it but it's tight but she was like oh that's how it's supposed to fit blah 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 so i'm going to show you guys how it looks on but i'm still contemplating getting the one that actually has the um the gold zippers because it's just a different kind of vibe and i love gold jewelry this one has like gunmetal ish i guess um hardware or gunmetal ish the pockets are so cute let me show y'all how it looks on but it was 65 dollars after tax so you can't beat that so i'm thinking what i'll do is i'm gonna order <laughs> i'm gonna order the one with the gold zippers online and then i'm gonna probably order it in the other color too which i'm gonna show you guys and we'll see which one i like the best but i'm gonna show y'all how this looks on so you guys this is how the leather jacket looks on I have it zipped all the way up. I hope y'all can see it. I know the lighting in the hair is not that great. Um, but this is how it looks on. It definitely gives snatched waist because I love when the moto, ja the moto jackets have like these little um, belts or whatever. So you can kind of like snatch that waist <laughs> or whatever. But 
What I love about this jacket primarily is the pocket detailing. I think that's so cute. It's just random. And then of course you can kind of like undo it or you don't have to. Um, well, let me show you how it looks from the side before I unzip it. <laughs> but you don't have, this is how it looks from the side. <laughs> the back. <laughs> so she's cute. She's quite snug, but of course you don't want like your moto jacket to be fitting oversized necessarily or at all because that's not the vibe that, it, that you want it to go for. But like I said, this is zipped up and I just love those pockets. That is just so cute. But anyway, and then this is how it looks unzipped, which, you know, that's always going to be the, the vibe. It's giving Uncle Jesse, girl. It's giving, it's giving Uncle Jesse just rode in off the Harley, off the Golden, um, the Golden, what, Gate Bridge? But yeah, so it's cute, but like I said, I really want to see how it looks with the gold hardware. So I'm about to order that one, and then when that comes in, I'll show y'all, and then we gonna pick which one to keep. But you can't beat that for 59, I mean, for, or for $59 plus tax, so $65 total. Yeah, girl, so Nordstrom for the win. I guess I did end up buying something from the anniversary sale. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go get my computer so I can order this gold zipper one before I forget. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys have T-Mobile. Those of you who have T-Mobile, I'm sure y'all are familiar with T-Mobile Tuesdays where they give out different discounts or freebies every Tuesday on an app. Sometimes it's like hit or miss. Maybe one, it's like a hit, miss, miss, miss. Cause it's like one out of every four be like something good. But this past week it was good. So they gave a, like a $7 credit to California Pizza Kitchen as well as one free small plate. So, you know, your girl had to go pick up some butter cake to go. So I got the butter cake. It didn't come with the vanilla ice cream, but I got ice cream, my own ice cream in the refrigerator. This is some whipped cream and it's, uh, it's wore out from being in the sun. And then, so I got that as my $7 credit. So I pay like $1.07 <laughs> and then this was free. This is the small plate. Only thing they had that looked good was the Mexican corn. I've never even had Mexican corn. So I got it without the cilantro and it looks pretty good with the little garlic bread. So yeah, girl, I got the butter cake. You know, I love the deal. I got the butter cake and the Mexican corn for, what was it? Like I said, $1.07, girl, you can't beat that. If you don't have T-Mobile Tuesdays app and you have T-Mobile, girl, where, where have you been? Download that app ASAP. <laughs> And then this is all I picked up from Bath and Body Works and I ran in there. They had candles for like $10 off, even though their candles are so overpriced these days. But I also had a 20% coupon and a free item. So I got this coconut milk shea butter hand cream for free. And then I picked up this sun drenched linen. Excuse me. I just tasted that Mexican corn. <laughs> but um, I picked up the sun drenched linen because I just have been having a... Um, I've been wanting that lately, so I'm going to burn that now, but I've just been wanting to smell that or laundry day. One of those two, I've been wanting one of those lately. So I stopped in, picked it up, and I want to say I paid like $14 out of pocket for the candle. And then of course, with the 20, excuse me, with the 20% coupon, and then of course the hand cream was free. And I love their hand cream, y'all. Hey you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end off this week's vlog here because I have no idea if anything else is going to be going on this evening. I highly doubt it because girl, I've been out like all morning for like three, four hours and it is so hot. I'm low key drained and I'm a little bit exhausted. So <laughs> I'm going to sit here and um, unwind and probably have a glass of wine actually. Y'all, I was just listening this morning on the treadmill. I was listening to or watching the Carisha, the Carisha Please podcast. And um, it's her second episode and it's featuring Kevin Gates. Did y'all watch this episode? It was so interesting. He is, I, I don't really, I'm not really familiar with Kevin Gates. Of course, I know who he is. He's a rapper um, from Louisiana, but I'm not, I know the song. I got two phones, one for the, one for the. So I know that song, but I'm not somebody who is like a fan, so I don't really know a ton about him. However, this interview was extremely entertaining. 
and the things that he talked about were just so interesting and um you just never know you never know what um <laughs> what people are into and I'm just like wow this 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 our guys are more guys just are, are into the things that he's into and they just don't talk about it like that is a very interesting <laughs> that was a, that would be a very interesting discovery for me anyway um but yeah I thought that was a very good interview if you have not watched it I highly recommend it not only would I watch that one but if you didn't watch her interview with Diddy Definitely watch that too. That was so interesting. She's just such a natural. She got so much like charm and charisma. Like I just love her just around the way I'm myself, but I'm still a bad bitch. I'm still a high, I'm still a high priced uh, bad bitch with all the designer, but I'm still a, a, a all around away girl vibe. Like I just... I just love her. I think she's beautiful. I think she's hilarious. And I love that she is just authentically herself and she don't really give a damn and she don't care what people think necessarily. She's not trying to like be grammatically correct. <laughs> she's just using her broken, I mean, her same, uh, I guess, uh, words <laughs> and accent Oops, that she's been having. I just love her. I just love her. I love JT. I just think they are just so cute and just so dope. And I love to see them win, but uh, anyway, I definitely see her doing even bigger things because she's such a natural, like interviewing or whatever, and she's gonna get even better, I'm sure. But uh, but anyway, I digress. Um, thank you guys so much if you made it to the end of this week's vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, girl and or guy. And I will see you, lords and ladies, in the next vlog.